afraid to speak on anything that isn't my own podcast anymore. Yeah, you threw me off. Why is everybody being mean to this? I gotta get the show. For real? He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. We are waiting for Mike Mayla. He'll be here shortly try to get him riled up so we get some viral clips on tiktok there's a lot of important stuff to talk about as we wind down the end of the year steven here is drunk doesn't matter it's not a big deal tana's in hot water uh we hosted the streamy awards steamy awards which is actually bigger than the streamies surprisingly a parody of the award show has surpassed the uh initial award show that it is parodying which is crazy. I didn't expect for this show to be on this level, but shout out to the H3 crew. That entire team is inspiring, to say the least. You know, uh, They all did a great job on stage. It's something that I dreamed of this past year for us to do as a Jeff FM team to have a, a holiday show. But unfortunately, a lot of uh, stuff happened. We, our, our, our year wasn't as smooth sailing as the H3 crew. We lost Oscar for about six months. Lots of stuff happened. Steven fell into addiction and so you know, just a lot of stuff happened that prevented us from doing that this year. But I think next year we're going to have to do our own. I don't know if it'll be anywhere near that level. They had the Dolby Theater. I don't know if I'm allowed to, I mean, you know, f- you're allowed to say it. They said not to say the theater we were at because like it, it's such an exclusive theater. They have it they, on the thumbnail. Well, they told us just don't say anything about Will Smith getting slapped. And that was like, I could not hold it in. I had to say like, a, you know, because fake Logan slipped up. And then I was like, all right, it's already fair game. But the Dolby Will Theater, I never thought. The shit out of me. Will Smith. You don't know the Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. You don't know. Will this. Smith is white. <laughs> what did you take today? Will Smith. Will Smith. Is the guy black. that plays Elf. Will Farrell? Oh, I'm thinking of Will Farrell. Oh Oops. my oh my God. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. This can't I can't I can't go on with you in my life. I can't go on with you in my life. Listen, part ways, take five, take five, take five. After that, take five. All right. Listen, I can do this podcast by myself. I don't give a fuck anymore. But all I need is those two in the bathroom. That's it. I'm fine. Take That's five. Fucking ridiculous, dude. I mean, I used to watch the Oscars and I used to see celebrities go up there and present, and I was like, I could never do this shit. And if I would have known that's what I was getting into, I probably would have been a little nervous for it. But because I was coming back from my birthday trip from Vegas, we had a five hour drive and I was like, oh, we're just going to some little theater. It's going to be a live show for H3. And then I look, I was like, wait, this is at the Chinese theater where the Oscars are. We walk in, everybody had green rooms with their names on it and they were doing hair and makeup and stuff. And I just kind of strolled in and they're like, all right, so here's the rundown of the show. And we had five minutes until we went out on stage in front of Mm. 5,000 people and 50,000 live viewers, at least. Basically an arena. We were a bit unprepared, to say the least. I did my best to help my, I don't know, uh, either either intoxicated or not co-host. But it was tough. It was definitely tricky to keep her from ruining her career. But I thought she was funny when we were up there. You know, I, I think that's. That's like her thing when she does her tour. Uh, she goes on stage to her audience and she acts like Tana. You know, she's like, I shoved the toothbrush in my pussy and I, I like whatever. She just says stuff like that. And she's hitting her vape on stage and they love her for that. But this being a different audience on a show that was so well prepared and thought out for so long, so much hard work went into it. I think that's what made people have a I bit really of a different reaction. That. But I thought she was being funny up until some certain points where I had, a, I had a butt in. Yeah, man. Shout out to all those people. Everybody did a great job performing. It's all like crew and and uh ethan he does a show live all the time but for like his stage presence that guy rich lux uh he fucking killed it queen whatever you know queen rich lux girl she killed it fucking it was sick it was a it was an experience i loved it and like a lot of those people didn't sign up for that like crew members like imagine i make you guys go out and like go on stage in front of five thousand people and let's do a show like you, would you guys be okay with that? Yeah. We'll yeah. Get an audio, audio visual experience. Because Dan, Dan's basically you of their show. He's like, get on that level, cuz. Genius runs everything. He came out and he got the biggest standing ovation of everybody because they know he's the guy that, that puts the show on. Well, for starters, I would have you come down Giant with Chris balls. Angel. I would, of course, do that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I, I might, we're gonna have to cut that because I don't want Ethan to steal that next year. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was it was a hell of an experience. Really made me want to do that for us. 
next year. Hopefully we don't all fall apart in the next coming months so we can make it to next year. Knock on wood. But yeah, Tana, she got a lot of backlash from her performance up there. And it sucks because she's good at doing her own live shows. And this specific live show is the one that is the big one that's broadcasted to everybody. Millions of people will watch it. And that's where it looks like she's terrible at doing live performances. Well, uh, that and like the She can go out in front of a thousand people, but just when it's recorded for somebody else, she usually fucks it up somehow. But I've been to her shows. I've been in her shows with her. That's not how she performs. Whose idea was it? But yeah, we need to get her into rehab immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. She said she was sober. I think she was just leaning into her. Fucking, hey, who cares? Look at my makeup. Like, whatever she was doing. I think she got influenced by her peers. But yeah, Tana got a bunch of hate. She was going through it. I talked her through it the next day. I was like, look, all this stuff will be over with in a week. It'll be forgotten, and you'll get another chance. You do another show. You record that. Life's back to normal. A lot worse stuff going on in the world. All this stuff of you will be forgotten. Yeah, she was trending on Twitter. Yeah, I got some smoke, too. What is you know, that people word? said that my, my I should have had socks on, and my ankles were showing... What, they were asking me if my ankles were cold and stuff like that. Look, you guys don't understand how you wear Salvatore Ferragamos, all right? That's the type of shoe I had on. Salvatore Ferragamos, you don't wear them with socks, all right? I wouldn't expect you normies to know, but stop giving me hate because I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. I can't take it. All right, Mike will be up here shortly before he gets here. I just want to give a quick thank you to you guys that supported the hair oil and the launch of the new Amazon store. Look at this one. It's already been... It's already almost halfway done. I love the response on it. The reviews are coming in. Thank you for the reviews because that's how you go up in the Amazon store. And we already hit number one in new hair products and stuff, which is huge. That was my dream. I just wanted to get hair products perfect and have them on Amazon so they can reach everybody. I'm happy. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the team. They're finally out there and people are loving them. The reviews are five stars. Perfect. So don't go mess that up. Go leave a nice review. I'm going to be looking through those reviews and I'm going to be coming to your house. Everybody leaves a good review. I'm going to come to your house on Christmas Day. All right, real quick, this episode is sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a fun new way. I've been passing my time watching the games. To be honest, I didn't love sports in the past, but this has given me a new exciting edge and a reason to watch and a reason to play. It's super fun. Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. We're the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Prize picks is the most fun I've ever had, winning up to 25 times my money this football season. And now I can play during the basketball season too. You just select two or more players, pick more or less in their projected stats, and place your entry. Want to play along some of your prize picks' favorite players like Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? Why does Andrew get that and not me? You want to play against me? Get me in there, prize picks. I want to make my picks public and I want to have the community playing with me. You can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in prize picks community each week. Get me in there. DM prize picks say, why is Jeff not in this program? This week I've been playing Nikola Jokic. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he wins every time I get him for assists and he's just passing that ball. He's passing it. Sometimes it'll get down to the end and he's just making shots and I need an assist. And I'm like, stop being selfish. Pass the ball. I need another pass. And also I've been going with um, Mahomes and Taylor Swift's boyfriend. I've been playing them too and they've been killing it too. So having tons of fun. Go to prizepicks.com slash Jeff for a first deposit match for up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Jeff for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more or pick less. It's that easy. Thank you, Prizepicks, for sponsoring this episode. Now let's get back on with it. You are 30 minutes late. 30 minutes late for the pod. Dude, it's, sorry about that. It's all right. I don't, I'll lights. do the show by myself. You know, just like you do. Read the uh, name on the wall. Impulse. Yeah, that's right. That's right. This guy's drunk out of his mind. He's pissing me off. But I'm doing off. great. I'm doing fantastic. Well, you're going to feel that tomorrow. You, no, uh, I filmed a great YouTube video. He goes to me. He goes, I'm fucked up. He goes, I was making all kinds of fucked up jokes. He goes, I made, a, I made a Hiroshima joke when we were drinking a Chinese beer. I Japanese. Said, well, that's not what you said. <laughs> Holy cow, I, was, I messed up. Listen, Why let's get those offensive this? jokes out today because it's the end of the year and you have a fresh start next year. Last step, well, the next episode will be in the new year. So if you're going to get canceled, do it today. That's what we're doing. We're going down. We're going down today. I just watched a TikTok said that there is a black hole in the sun that is a 
It's a storm yeah. that if we get one gust of that little explosion of fire that comes our way, our planet is smoked. We will all be burned to a crisp. So nothing matters. If you didn't get somebody a Christmas gift this year, doesn't matter. There we go. Black Hole Sun. Do you know that song from our Of course our, I know that days? song. That was, a, that was what my, they played at my baptism. Yeah. Such a good song. It's I a perfect a music song video. to bring me into the world with. Yeah. This piece of shit. Yeah. Wait, is the, my mic coming through loud and clear? Yeah, it's loud I and clear. I got a lot of gender neutral jokes to make tonight, dude. I'm going right back. Yeah. I'm going right back to the gender neutral shit. My dad love that clip. I sent it to him. And you, yeah, because your dad's what? a red blooded American. Fuck yeah, he is. Military lover, <laughs> pisses yeah, in yeah. his own mouth. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This dude's that <laughs> fucking real guy right there. Yeah. It's a real man. I'll never forget when he pissed in his own mouth. <laughs> like live on the show that was a, that was the highlight of this year yeah that was a good time but yeah so there's uh what is it a, a sonic storm on the moon or some shit what's going on pull it up oscar there's a black hole in the sun it might kill us do you think that it's just some ploy from the government i don't even know the story Fear, i don't even know what you're mongering. talking about wait what are you saying pull it up oscar find it look at this on tiktok listen radio, to the radio blackout, blackout created by the strongest solar flare in six years look at that black hole sun where won't, won't you come, come? Yeah, it's coming, and it's coming to blast all our satellites. It's going to give us all sunburn. It's probably something made up by the sunscreen companies that put fear into our heads, fear mongering. Where's the so black that hole? We, the, where's the black holes? Right, fucking in the in the middle. Look at that giant black hole. It's the size of six thousand. Not Earths. a hole. That's like a. Do shape. you ever think to yourself, who gives a shit? Who cares? I, I think I think it, you probably agree with me on this, but ever since Harambe. You died. don't. You don't care because you are fed up with everything. I know. It's more. I'm old. I've seen it all. Done it all. Oh, also, the business you're in, the, the thickness that your skin had to get to to maintain a career in this lifestyle. God, you don't no, care. Don't you care. You wish you'd get hit with a gust of fire from the sun that would punch just me in the solar punch me in the nose. Smoke your whole house. Punch and me in the nose. Yeah. yeah. To any streamer, if you're watching this, any YouTuber. If you see me, Fuck punch you, me in bro. the fucking nose. Please make it even fucking more crooked and bigger. I'll give you Jack Doherty of my permission. Punch <laughs> yeah, me in the Jack, fucking face, Jack, Jack Doherty. Doherty. Please. I can't take this shit anymore. I can't take this world. I'm red pilled. I'm Are ready for conservatism, right religion, and, and saying, gender brother. neutral toy sections. Fuck, yeah. business. That's right. I think we're I think we're going down the right path now. Since we flipped and we became red pill now, and we're just like, <laughs> you know, we made all, a whole bunch of domestic Bro, violence jokes last what week. What is the deal with that been, community? What is the deal with that? I like. Community? Don't act like no, you're not a part don't. of it. Don't say that community don't, like you're not a part of it. I am not a part of that fucking. Community. You're one of the most red pill people I know. I still don't know the difference what? between the two. I got to learn. Bro, I'll learn. tell you, I know the actual definition of red pill. Okay. It's in the dictionary, Webster's. You have to have, you have to have never touched a vagina ever in this your life. This is not the real definition. All right, I don't fucking know what it is, dude. Tell me it, so, because I don't I'm know. A, I, I don't know. They, they, they make fun of girls. You got to call girls fours or okay. sixes. You got to talk shit. If they try to get mad at you, you got to tell them you is this really what it is? I don't know. That's what I see. I don't understand what it, I don't. A red pill. We know. We already know what it means. It means like it's from the Matrix. You tell, take the red pill, then tell you're it free. like you're telling my mother right now. Oh, actually, really? Because I don't even know what it means. Red pill content is the embodiment of the return of masculinity no, traditional, and wokeness and, 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 and anti wokeness and the Democrats, and the liberals, and the, the you know, rainbow community. Traditional. And, and. Oh, it's anti-gay? Well, no, it's not. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah. I think it is, right? Sure. It is. It's traditional, just tra right. traditional, like, rules and. and yeah, like, bro, a return of conservatism, like, no more religion. haram. I don't want to no do more that. Sins. I don't want to do it. I don't want to, I don't want to be anti-gay. No, no, it. this isn't about whether you want to or not. I'm explaining it to your mom. Yeah. I mean, we got all these gays what it is. here, you know? We have all these gay people around that I can't, I can't do that. But one thing I've noticed about the community is none of them even have any girlfriends. None of them have girlfriends. They don't even have girl. They don't even have girls. They just bring girls on to call them fours. That's so what they do. I don't understand they, what it, it's like. It's like they're trying to train young men to be better like lovers, <laughs> but then they just call girls sluts and whores and fuck yeah. with them and shit. Yeah, well, and why, there's do, no, why do they do it? Like why? It seems like the rule of the community is. In order to better yourself, all you really have to do is just bring other people down. And it just makes you look better. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But also go to the gym. They do say go to the gym. And that's I think that's pill. pretty much that's it. I think that's pretty much If there was two rules to red pill, I think go to the gym, call women whores. And blue pills woke. 
Yeah, that's woke. That's like gender neutral toy sections and score. Okay. Then there's then there's the purple the pill. Purple pill community, which is us, which it's is ninety nine percent of people in the world that are right in the middle. They okay. don't give a shit about red pill. They don't give a shit about blue pill. They just want to live a fucking normal life. Yeah, they got some faults, but they don't call women whores. They don't fucking call women sixes and fours. They just live a normal fucking life. That's me. That's me too. I'm purple pill. And I think this is the year of purple pill community. I think we can, I think we can start it. Purple it's, pill. Yeah, it represents the masses. It represents like that song Eminem, right? It has M some cool M people. Some is that, does Eminem have a purple pill song? Uh, Yeah, it's called. Purple pills. It's No, it's called. Uh. Purple pills, yeah, that's what it's yeah. called. My yeah, bad. Sorry, it took me a second to compute that one. You no, know, I just yeah. thought about, think about why have you never seen different races in animals? Like, name one Mexican ape. Have you ever ever seen a Mexican ape? Um, see exactly. Yeah, man, I have. When have you seen a Mexican ape? If you there's go to Mexico, there's different there's color horses. There's different there. types of dogs. There's French bulldogs from France. There's English bulldogs from England. Really? There's American yeah, bulldogs from accents, America. Yeah. There's tons of things like that. Uh, huh. Take five again. Take five. Right. I gotta pee again. All right. Cool. So Come what are we gonna uh, what are we gonna <laughs> do with this purple pill community? <laughs> Play the song Purple Pills just quick. So <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, it was D12. <laughs> it was D12. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there he is. The oh, most controversial man on the internet. Alex, you know, Alex Malak. <laughs> we want to get you going on some of those uh, rants again today because those have been killing on TikTok and they've been good for the show. I ain't got no rants for you today, bro. Well, I'm, we're gonna I'm get so them. filled with love and just <laughs> appreciation, bro. And also, I want to say this, dude. Man, whores are fun, bro. Whores are the most fun people yeah. on the planet, bro. Like, you got to think about it, bro. They have very little inhibition. They'll, they're down for whatever. They just like to have a good time. They listen to cool music. They like to go to festivals and chill. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like do do fun shit. Think about it, bro. They're like one of the bros. It's yeah. like hanging out with one of your homies. You're like, oh yeah, get her out here. That's bro. why I love Tana. That's what she... I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I get it. She's... I get like you might not want to, if you were looking to fucking, you know, start a, a covenant or some sort of, you know, church in Baptist loving Mississippi, mm -hmm. you might not marry one of them. Yeah. You, then you could be red pill. You know what I'm saying? You you know, you call call come into our Baptist church, but no fours allowed. Like I get that. But if you want to have a normal purple pill life, you got to get a couple whores in your circle and hang out. What about the girls? So they're like, absolutely not. If you had sex with more than like three people in your life, you're a whore. That's whore. what these red pill guys say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about no, a 306, a 403? There's like a number, a treesh. What are the words? You know some of the words. Boo. What? <laughs> what are some of the red pill words for women? Like for for girls that have more than two bodies. Oh, whore. Uh, slut and a hoe. Bro, you just said normal terms. Jeff's mom could have come up with I don't know, my terms. boy. You know what I don't think, though, is that there's no more monogamy anymore in relationships. <laughs> I've seen so many TikToks where, where <laughs> these guys will go up to couples and ask them to swap phones and the girl always like won't want to show you it say and then they go through her shit. Did you say there's cheating. no more mahogany? So Monogamy. Cool. What? Say it one more time. Monogamy. Oh, Monogamy. That's, that's how you got Whatever it. Whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> I genuinely don't believe that's a thing anymore. Like that's just you think not monogamy's a thing. monogamy's dead? Because of social media in general. You will never be like 100% fully, unless we live in fucking Ohio or Maryland or some shit. And you don't and have TikTok. On well, your you phone. know, yes. the red pill community thinks that men should be allowed to have multiple lovers. I don't just agree women with that. have to be mahogany, as Steve would say. I don't agree with that, but I'm just saying, like, I genuinely don't believe monogamy. Monogamy? What about these girls Do that you agree? have oh, had, see, he, they've had sex a I couple was times, you know? Yeah, you're not going anywhere. But it's Steven. I was. I was asking you Mike an uh, opinion. About. You didn't want to fucking go ahead. along with what I was. Go saying. ahead. What, finish it then. Well, I'm asking you. Do you genuinely believe that monogamy is a thing? Is anymore? dead. Yeah, it's dead. With social media, well, let's these talk days. about it. For, let's unpack it for a second. Divorce rates are through the roof because social media is not normal. It's not like normal to have. Usually, all these when you want you someone can... to answer a question, you actually stop. He's You're telling me that? <laughs> You're telling me that? He's so shit. -faced. Well, I don't usually no, ask. Not. I'm not. I don't usually ask on a call. When I ask questions, I stop. Okay. But I, the divorce rate is what? Current divorce rate 70 plus percent. P, you know, social media has poisoned the well. People are yeah. go, people are in, are in committed relationships. They go, they lay in bed, and they scroll on fucking Instagram looking at boobies and butts. And, and by the way, it's geo targeted. Now you can find boobies and butts in your area. 
No you know way. what I'm saying? Yeah, everything's How do you geo. Know this? Well, I mean, people got Tinder. <laughs> he saw those ads that say like local singles looking. Yeah, yeah, you get local singles are looking for you type ads. On what it's a harder time than ever, Stephen, to stay committed to one person. Yeah, that's what. That's yeah. honestly, that's what makes those relationships where people do do that even more special. You know what I'm saying? Because they're even farther and fewer between. Speaking of this, uh, last episode and the episode before and on the H3 show, I've been talking about how we started this new email. It's at, uh, it's date at jeffwittick.com. And we started this kind of as a joke. And, you know, then after we posted the episode, we didn't even make the email. And then I was like, Oscar, what the fuck? We're missing out on uh, opportunities of me finding my perfect match. And then we made it. And then the email started pouring in. DMs have been insane lately. Dude, my I, DMs are insane. Yeah, All my DMs are, what's the email? <laughs> it's gotten out of control. Like, I can't even look at them. I And I'll find girls, I'm like, wow, this is like, I'm like trying to star them and highlight them. But we got to have a professional go through them and we're going to do a dating show for me to find love. Even H3, Ethan, they do a, a bachelor, H3 bachelor. And they have a, it's four out of four. They found, everyone's been married from it. Trisha found Moses. Uh, one of the, a couple of guys in the crew from the H three dating show. Yeah, there's a hundred percent success rate. They're all married from it. So I started this as a joke. I do want uh, I want to I want to try being in a relationship, but I need to really be like, I'm if I'm doing this, I'm done. I'm finding the one and I'm out. I'm settled settled down. So that's the end game for all of those people that are emailing you. You're going to actually date one. You actually all the think emails, that's going to happen? All the emails are like, look, I'm ready too. I'm at this point in my life too. I've, there's girls verified that are hitting me up that you may even know. that, are, And I, I was like, whoa, this is, you want to be life partners with me? I don't even, I haven't answered one of them yet because I, like, I don't want to favor it anybody, but. Love my <laughs> Yeah, Lana was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. Are you sure you're ready for that? I am not sure. That level of I, I thought I was sure, but now like it's going on somebody else's platform and it's guaranteed 100% success rate. I mean, four out of four, you know, it's still early on, but that's still 100%. Like, I'm not going to be the guy that breaks that shriek and then, and then it would go down to 80. See, that's yeah, the problem Steven's fail. talking about. Now you have too many options. It's never going to work. That is the problem he was talking about. Now I have too many options and I'm like, wait, shouldn't I have a little fun with this? <laughs> it's you know? never going to work. The world's literally going to shit. Like, this is not okay. Do I, I kind of agree with you. The but black hole sun. Yeah. Black but do you feel like you're at a point this right now? This is why there's the red pill community to get the, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can we, can we, can I say one thing on that really quick? The fucked up thing about it that's actually sad is that there is merit to some of the stuff that they're talking about. It was the same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. Yes. That's, that's look the thing. at traditional America. That's the like, thing. You can agree with uh, a portion of someone's takes and you can disagree with a portion of someone's takes mm -hmm. and still respect them completely as a person. I have no ill will towards any of the people in that community. But unfortunately, like the the the, the takes that are represented online the most and hit social media the most are, are nasty ones. You know what I'm saying? I, you can you can encourage men to to work out and do better with their money and be more responsible with their finance and their livelihood and how they sin and so on and so forth without calling girls whores all day. Yes, I agree. And ugly and rating them and putting them down. That's, yeah. that, the fucked up thing but about I, it is like, that's what and gets, and that's and what gets the guys to yeah. listen to the life advice shit. And I'm not, because otherwise their show would never go anywhere. And I'm not agreeing with those guys whatsoever, like what they're saying, but it, it, are they doing that to teach other people a lesson? Like other girls, like this is not the way to, I'm not say, I'm saying, I'm saying, and once again, I'm not saying I agree, but like, are they doing that to like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't teach other people. <laughs> Why do you stop it? You know what I mean? I just don't know. I just don't know what you're getting at. Right what do you now. mean? I just explained everything. Uh, well, you just said, do you think they're doing it to get people? And oh, then you just not pick finished? up from the dating. No, I meant pick up like, from the dating show. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is, sorry. Is, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Aaron to come pick me up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck this. Do, do, okay. Quiet, okay. I, can't, I can't do this. Do yeah. you think that you are in a place in your life right now where you have the time and energy to devote to a relationship of that level. Take it from someone who's currently in a, a pretty serious relationship. It It's kind of time consuming, bro. It yeah. really, it rep you have to like really check in. You need to like do what you have to do to, to make them happy, to make sure they're appreciated, to make sure they have, you know, what supports them. And a lot of times, one thing people on the internet are getting right now is you kind of have to wait until you're in a point in your life where you're ready to support that type of relationship. Young men like yourself, who have a lot going for them, a lot of a lot of 
enterprises, you know, Jeff's Barbershop, Jeff FM, The Barbershop, all these things that you're working on sometimes don't shift. have impulsive, sometimes don't have time to, to, and I know there's a, <laughs> a large swath of women and other people who won't like me saying this, but don't always have time to devote to a relationship of that magnitude. Sometimes, Especially one that I really care about. Like I, I would have to, you know, uh, and in this profession, you're always, you're always cursed with your never doing enough. There's always more you could do. You could have your episode out on time. You got both shows out on time, but then there's TikToks you can make. There's, there's, you could be Snapchat. posting Instagram, doing Snapchats. You do Instagram stories. You, there's always more where you feel like I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. And then you have your, your partner who's like, what the fuck? You haven't even answered my, you haven't texted me all day. And I'm just like, oh, I can't do this shit. Well, well, and then there is a such thing as like, yo, having to push the brakes, say, okay, like. I'm going to take a step back from work a little bit to support to support a relationship of that magnitude. But do you feel currently like you're at a point where you can kind of put the car in auto autopilot and just and and sit back and like, for example, you look at Logan, right? Logan was in a number of relationships with a number of girls. Everybody around was like, yo, this seems like the right thing for him. But at the time, he was always building, building, building. Now he's got a fucking multi-billion dollar brand that's going to sell for billions of dollars. He's got WWE, which is an automated program. He doesn't need a concept. Think about content, edit, all this shit. Yeah. His life is a lot more automated so he can layer in a woman that could be there with him for the rest of his life. Do you feel like you're at a point right now where your shit is automated enough to, to support that? Uh, no, I don't. But I'll figure it out if I, if I find the one. I'll figure it out. Maybe she'll help me do it. Maybe she'll help me with stuff. You see that fucking solar yeah, that was flare really that just weird. went off in that there? Was really weird. Bro, the black hole sun. It was like right Jonah. There. Just it's, fucking it's a sign. Exploded. You see that explosion? Yeah, it was probably caught on camera. Did we just catch the bathroom boys completely zoned out watching TikToks while uh -huh. we were talking? Yeah. Wait, was that actually? Yeah. I'm, Wait, I'm, did, I'm Jeff, to, did you? I'm trying to pull up a clip to like. Uh, All right, let's reset. No, 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 let's, no. Let's no. I want to ask you this question. Was that, was you. Is right now pre or post you giving them their Christmas bonuses? No. no. No, that's not a possible answer to what I just said. Have you given them them yet? No. Oh, so, and they're dicking around. You could pull no. the bonuses right now. Yeah. They're sitting watching TikToks. I'm pulling up a video and I'm trying to make the right what's, one. What's going on though? We're, Steven texts me that he's mad. Okay, go, go. Get the fuck out. Whoa, whoa, we're doing whoa, a show. Whoa, there won't be any Steven no, 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 slander. No, no, no. What's, Steven, what's, Steven, no. what's wrong? Go ahead. Go what's ahead. Wrong? Nothing personal. Just I'm go. sorry that One, I'm not Steven. mad. And two, Usually why would you I'm say weird. that when I text you that personally? Because they think I'm on TikTok. Why would you throw him under the fucking... I said how... Why would you throw him under the fucking... No, why would you throw him under the... 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 Me that Kyle, why would you do on TikTok? I'm gonna rip it right now. You just said yourself you're drunk, you're drunk, you're drunk. I'm gonna be shit faced on this show. You just drink 10 beers yeah, upstairs. Prime, I just chug fucking water and drink a prime. Okay, but you're not taking it serious in here. You're fucking up everything we're doing. You're texting him who's now has to do sound bites. You're fucking up his shit. Everyone's going through shit. Everyone's going through shit. All right, all right, all right. Everybody relax. No reason for this. Let's de escalate the situation. De escalate the situation. Take a deep breath. Okay. Steven. Go ahead. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You were shooting content before. Go get. Go have. Fuck that. What the hell is going on with you guys? Uh, he just let him go. And then he text, he's texting Kyle. I'm pissed off. Kyle's not hitting sound bites. The whole show's not happening because of one problem. Get the fuck out then if you're drunk. All right. No need to address it so harshly. I'm done dealing with drunk people. I can understand that. <sighs> He's just a kid. He's a moron. Who is a young kid moron? Well, I, then, then I don't have time for them on the show if they're gonna be young kid morons. I'm trying to move into the next chapter of my life. I said, I'm leveling up. I'm not dealing with this dumb bullshit anymore. It's fun sometimes, but not every single episode. Dude, excuse me. Uh, never mind, cut, all, cut it all out. You know, that's all that happens. And it's annoying to listen to. I listen to the show too. I'm, I'm an. I'm I think a, he's breaking yeah. shit. Um, he said the last thing he texted me is, "I'm gonna just dip." The video before it got me too messy, so I think he's. So he is. Why is he fucking lying to me and saying like? He texted me that he was mad that I like interrupted him. And I've been texting you since the beginning of the yeah, show. Yeah, I know. I'm asking you for that a soundbite, sound and you're like not even answering me. I'm like the fuck's going on? Yo, last thing, just one thing. I'm done. I'm done here. You can see I'm done. Do done with what? Done with what? Done with what? What's fake? What's fake? What's fake? What the fuck is fake? Our relationship is fake. This is my best friend right here. 
The arms. Your arms. Ours is fake. Arms. Ours is fake. Arms. You're drunk. You get the fuck is this out, a bro. bit? I, nope. you, look, you're using my half statements. I didn't even do that. You just texted him I'm drunk. You told me I'm drunk. You, you fucking telling everybody you're drunk. I just said I'm not even drunk. Ten beers. You drank ten beers. You drank ten beers. You drank ten beers. Get the fuck out. All right. You're done. Get the fuck out. I'm just saying, I'm done. I'm done. Good. You good. I'm drunk. Good. I don't good. Fuck. I always show up. I'm gonna treat me like a fucking side piece of a port. I show up whatever you want for a podcast, for a barbershop, I'm constantly doing shit for you. You're gonna pay yes, to be here. You're gonna pay to be here. Like, you charge me, no? You, no? Yes, obviously, because it's fucking work. Everybody gets fucking paid to be here. All right? Get out. Go. You're done. Okay. I'm done with you. What's new in the news? It's, How you doing? <laughs> it's I just Welcome to the I mean listen, I'm not I'm not no stranger to on set beefs. I've seen quite a few of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had three hosts, then three hosts, then three hosts, then two hosts, yeah. then two hosts, then three. I know what it's like, bro. Did People get, think everything's fucking. Did it ever get that ugly? Yeah, but that's like between just me and Logan. Yeah. But there's a reason why we're you know, we're still doing it because you get Sometimes you get in little scraps like that with people you love. But yeah. I just think about them like that Christmas movie, that black and white Christmas movie where the guy's trying to, he's going to jump off the bridge. What's it called again? The the biggest one ever. A black and white Christmas movie? <laughs> bro, are we that stupid? <laughs> Pull up the fucking movie, bro. It's fucking the most famous, a Christmas miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> Yo, most famous Christmas movie ever. Just type in that t- that term. No, motherfucker. Most famous Christmas movie. E- it's a wonderful life. Thank you. An angel rescues a suicidal man and shows him <laughs> that life has not been a waste after all. Like that literally, you just started the storyline. Like he, I could see him going out right now, getting a Paps Blue Ribbon, a PBR 40 ouncer downstairs in a paper bag, walking down, you know, sunset by himself, and who knows what's going through his mind? Who knows? Maybe he's really going through some stuff. And a, and a Christmas angel finds him wandering by himself, freezing cold, wet in the rain, about to perish. Says, Stephen, get up. Dust yourself off. And that angel, Tana Manjo. No. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> that's not going to be Tana. <laughs> Sorry, it's Andrew Tate. I don't fucking know. It's Andrew fucking Tate, bro. What? <laughs> No, bro, it's just like, I, you know, I already had to fucking deal with Tana drunk this week, and it was like, it was tough, but, you know. You ever been drunk? Yeah. You ever I've done been... something you wish you hadn't? I, I'm not even going to get into it. Listen, you, you probably did the right thing. It's tough love, but. Sometimes they need tough love. Can't coddle people. Got to no. gotta empower them through putting, them, putting their back against the wall. Now he doesn't have a fucking job. Yeah. If you're going to drink, don't drink before work. That would be my one. And he was asking if he could use the upstairs as like his own set so he could shoot his videos at. I said, yes, no question. Do it. His first video was down 10 beers. And I was like, we have the podcast after. And he's shit face spilling beer all over my fucking house. It stinks like beer in here now. I don't want to deal with this shit, you know? I don't mind drunk people. I could hang out with drunk people, but just like when we have to do a show, just, you know, respect the show a little bit. A lot of people listen to it. You're disrespecting the viewers and the listeners, you know? Unless they're drunk. I come in here with a game plan of things I want to talk about. You know, Black Hole Sun is not just something that came up the second you walked in. in. My- there we go. Can we, Let's just hear that. Let's in just- this I just got the vocals together. That's fire. You know, Steven, should I text him? There's a solar flare about to hit us. We're all going to die anyway. I'm sorry. That's, I mean, bro, that's where I, li- how I live. And I he's got I- vitiligo, that skin disease. Yeah, you probably made it worse. He probably, his dick's <laughs> probably fucking red as fuck right now, dude. Should I call him and apologize? Yeah, I would say call him and just, and just talk to him at least. He's probably fucking sad, bro. I tried to get in the middle, but I don't want to also don't want to get in the middle. No, I would have fucked him up right there because he was he came in here like he was trying to press me. I wouldn't put violence on him, but if he wants to start violence with me, I'll end it. You can't beat up a fucking autistic person, bro. I'm going to go. I hate everything. That's the simplest way for me to put it. Why? I just hate everything. I don't. I, we'll there's, into that thought. there's nothing that makes me happy in any way, shape or form or, like or it, makes me feel like I am content with anything. I was just saying, do you think that comes with like all the like crazy extravagant stuff you do? 
Yeah, probably. Because like you but, max out. You your think you like burned out your yeah. Yeah, your, I mean, I think I did that before I even moved to LA with heroin. But like, but like, honestly, like. But I feel like is it is there a difference between like your drug serotonin versus like your living serotonin and like being on stage or Mykonos and this and that? I think I think they both run off the same neurotransmitters in the brain, mm-hmm. whether it's drugs doing it. Because like, I'll have fun being high for sure, but then like that Mykonos shit was fucking insane to me. You know, like there's like a, a yeah, I, yeah. I can get back there too when I'm on a trip like that. But like, but like, it's not even that, bro. It's like if you think about what represents the majority of our time in life right now, it's it's like looking at our phones, right? It's yeah, like I really and want to disconnect from yeah, this. and honestly, like, I just I just have to say, like, the shit that's on our phones right now is so bad dude like i don't know if you go on well obviously you go on twitter but i hate it all twitter is now is just fucking like it's either people trying to sell you a course or or fucking like everything's just like red pill no it's the it's the worst place on earth it's terrible i'm like more and more on my phone like i'm not looking up like i feel like i always just remind myself to like i want to get rid of it i want to throw my phone away like think about like i used to think about like when i used my phone in 2018 like i probably use it to like capture snapshot with friends or fucking the calculator app or what my work schedule was but now i'm just like on it to fill in the void of boredom and you don't even ever get a chance to get bored because you just grab your phone immediately like like dude honestly if i had to write my book if i had to write the fifth vital now it would never get done like i drive my car my brand new car don't even enjoy it because I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone there. I get out of the car. I take a phone call. I walk into Equinox. I'm on my phone. I go on yeah. the treadmill or the elliptical or whatever. I'm on my phone. It's like I'm I'm permanently on my phone. It's yeah. such a bad, it's potentially the worst addiction that I've ever had in my life. Like, like it's so bad. It's so disturbingly bad. And the shit that I consume is so fucking useless definitely like quarantine and covid was a huge factor for like everyone that feels this way too i need to like discipline myself in 2024 yeah like, i need it, to it, okay but i feel like there's also two lanes here like discipline or adapt no it's not it has to be discipline we have to put constantly these, we have zoom out to a little put, bit zoom no, out a little bit no we have to put these things down it cannot be this cannot be the next yeah, you're right. evolution of man. It can't be. There's there's no way that that can work. It is going I mean, to it is going to kill all of us. I'm telling the you power to stop it though. It's fucking bigger than you can imagine. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you and Donald hopefully Trump this segment it. Yeah. hopefully it would be what? sick if Jeff let us run this segment because maybe he only does 15 minutes so who knows after he beat up Steven. <laughs> but like but like for everybody at home right now these things are, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. This phone is more dangerous than than any of the things that the red pill community is telling you is dangerous. I'm telling you, bro. More than the fucking vaccine that stops everyone's heart. More than fucking all of those things. This phone is poison. It is poison. It is poisoning your brain with, with senseless, useless shit that you don't need to hear. And that is, that is so counter- my compensation structure and counter how I make money and counter my revenue to tell you to turn this fucking thing off and go outside and enjoy your life and be with your family and play with your dog and touch the grass and look at the sky and listen to music. There's, there are some limited benefits to this thing, but the, but the fucking downsides of, of this phone is, will be forever felt will be just understood in, in 20, 30 years when the suicide rate continues to fucking skyrocket and people are turning to drugs and no one's in a committed relationship anymore because there's everything is just options and noise and your brain can't handle it. It can't handle the amount of fucking shit that is coming in through these airwaves. Oh, what's what I miss? Would you ever be open to like, I don't know, some sort of challenge? All right, we're good. It's fixed. I had it. No, we just we're deep on a major topic right now, and well, I prefer me, to use all of it. I can okay. catch you back up. Yeah, yeah, we could. Let me just catch everybody up on the Steven situation. We met outside. I chased him. He was about to get an Uber. I fucking caught him in the rain. It was raining. Like out. I said, and from, I was like, "Yo, was it actually? Is it raining in that scene?" It snows in that movie. Well, it's LA, so it was like our version of that. And I was like, "Yo, I'm sorry, bro," and he was like, "I'm sorry too," and I was like. The only thing that really pissed me off was like you saying our relationship's fake at the end. You know? I don't think that's what he meant. I think he just meant the, like this is all fake. <laughs> like what we're doing here? Yeah. 
which for me it's not. I don't know. I don't know what you guys got going on behind the scenes. I didn't know either. He drank ten beers before he walked and fucking did That'll the show. That'll cause all types of fake. That problems. will and family shit around Christmas fights Pissing happen. In the mouth. So I told him I was like, I love you, bro, and I gave him a hug. He said, I love you too, and he was like, but Kyle's fucking. <laughs> yo, why does he? Did he really? Yo, why does he always do that? Kai, you know how you feel about Steven? How you're always like, that's my biggest, strongest boy. That's how I feel about Kyle. Anytime, yeah. any. If you have, be yo, if you have beef with Kyle, you're a fucking idiot. You yeah. you shouldn't even, you shouldn't be allowed to operate a motor vehicle. You should be a woman in Andrew Tate's world. Yeah. You shouldn't even be allowed to drive because Kyle is literally the most selfless, innocent kid. Unless, unless some way, somehow, Kyle, you're a manipulative, vindictive, behind the scenes little fuck. Fuck Kyle. Like literally, <laughs> but like the Kyle I know, if you have beef with Kyle, you. I that soundbite about himself. Yeah, it's all right. Shit he's happens. always wanted to fight Kyle. He I always. Know. How many fights have we broke up between him and Kyle? He always has. Room. They, Unless they, I don't know. Now I'm gonna be watching you. Now that? I'm gonna be watching you like extra. Did we ever talk about that in house like, in house really fist like, fight? Did we ever mention that in house fist fight? What do you mean on the show that there was an in house like rumble between you two? Mm. All right, look, look. I'm happy that it's over with. People get drunk, they make mistakes, but we all love each other. We're, we fixed it. I, my, I might look like the bad guy because I might be the only one on camera here yelling, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Clearly you got a lot of pain in your life too. Bro. Yeah, I'm stressed out because like, look, this show is all I got. You know, I got no fam, I mean, I have a family, but I got no, <laughs> <laughs> I got no Imagine girlfriend. Your mom and dad watching No, I mean like, I, I didn't like them. Like I'm gonna go like see them, but like I'm out here on my own. You know, I got no girlfriend, no dog, nothing. All I got is these guys. You and fucking, you know, when this was my Christmas fight, I had a Christmas fight last year with my dad and I haven't been in a fight ever since I made it. Once I fucking got paid and got hit fucking number Your one parents charts, just love you. you know, when viral became an internet superstar, I never got yelled at again. With their, from your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Cause in the back, dude, when they go home at the like after weekend, they're told, "What's your mom's name again?" Maria. Your dad's like, "Maria, I can't stand the fucking kid, yeah. but I want him to get me that '67 Chevelle I always wanted, <laughs> so I'm gonna let him say whatever he wants, and then he's gonna buy me the car, and I'll finally have a moment to tell him I fucking hate him. He disappointed yeah. the family. Yeah, yeah. I made it up to number one spot after being the black sheep of the family, the only one to ever get arrested and do bad shit. And I came back after getting some clout. They took me back in, back to the number one spot. Even when I go home now, my mom will have LaCroix out. And she's like, oh, Jeffrey's coming. Let's get him, you know, because everyone in my family, they'll drink and stuff. They have a good time. But she gets me LaCroix. And my niece last year, she grabbed one and poured it on to like the hardwood floor. It went on the hardwood floor. Like, like LaCroix. poured one out for her dead homies type She thing? just is a kid. She's a little fucking two year old. And she went like this and she poured it out like that. Like mm -hmm. I'll demonstrate right here because we have a hardwood floor here, too. You know, that got you. That's the the middle-aged man. <laughs> so after that, everybody was like, you know, oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. And like, I was like messing around. So I did it too. I forget where I did it, but it was like funny that I went and did it too. And my dad lost his shit. And I was like, it's water. It's just has bubbles in it. There's no extra additives. Like you're trying to make her like feel that. better. Yeah. I'm like, it's yeah. I was trying to make the, the kid feel yeah. better. My dad, lost his shit he brought back up steven when he sprayed the bleach, bleach all over yeah. the basement like you bring that fucking kid in here and he fucking sprays the bleach all over the fucking floor of your mother's house your fucking mother's house he was going cursing in front of kids what'd everything. you do i was like look dad i'm here for her my mother because she wants me here <laughs> all right everything i do is for her not for you and then, I, then we bonded back because he was like yeah you're right because he's the same way. Everything he does is to make my mother happy. You know, that's what we all are as what, men. Oh, dude, wow. What you just said, it brought up such an interesting topic. And I and I, this is the only topic I had for today. And it's I've never seen a better segue ever. A better, more natural segue in my life. So there was this big like TikTok, Twitter, uh, or X formerly known as Twitter, like argument the other day about this theoretical scenario. Who comes first? Three choices. And what order do they go in? Your mother, your wife, and your daughter. Oh, don't damn. Don't just jump out and answer it. But so, dude, this turned into a massive viral situation. Now, of course, you've got four, four men sitting in this room right now who only got one of them. They ain't got a wife. They ain't got a daughter. So you have to, this becomes a theor theoretical scenario. Yeah. I would like to hear you guys' answers. Do you want me to tell you what I thought immediately or do, would you like to go first? I would have to go daughter. Like your life is now because of her. 
you have to protect her and give her life. That's how, you know, that's the meaning of life, I think. You know, your mother already lived her life. And when she had you, she realizes that now it's about my offspring. You know, this is my child now. That will So then on. would you put the wife before your mom too? <sighs> Damn, I don't know. See, because that's the, the one that produces the offspring. Go, oh, Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. If, so, so, wow, it's funny how you structured it because you structured it by way of moral obligation to reproduction that was your that was where your that's what your brain prioritized was 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 that natural male obligation to reproduce mm -hmm. so for me i looked at, at it more of like a scarcity situation what's the most rare thing you'll ever be given in your fucking life i know a couple guys out there they got five six kids four of them are daughters Maybe they're with the second. Maybe they're with the third wife. We only get one mother. You only get one mom. One. Wow, I see that too. You I only guess. get one mother. Timeless queen. Yeah. The one who brought you into this world. <laughs> so you say that, mother? I don't know if that's my my answer. Cause okay, here's here's what the people out there watching this will say disqualifies us. We don't. We can't relate to the kind yeah but i think if i if i was say with my future wife in a room with my mother who's the grandmother of that child and her daughter would be my wife they would both say your daughter's the number daughter one, for sure yeah I, I agree with you that's why that's why i didn't rush to it and i think anybody out there who has a kid would say bro when you have a kid everything you think about the world immediately hits a brick wall redirects and the only thing that you care about is that kid like, like it, it's this weird light switch flip where, yeah. where your whole world changes and every problem and, and, and thing that you were looking forward to an objective prior to that baby being born just stops, just dead stops and goes into the ethos. And now you only have this one thing and that is protect this child, raise this child and, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. This episode's getting a little boring now. Should we get Steven back? I thought he's gone. I'm I just kidding. I'm just, oh, uh, I didn't know. Oh, that was, was that a, like that a Logan? A, that was a big joke, yeah, uh -oh. that nobody caught on to. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that was like, I go, is that a Logan? <laughs> no, no, no. Whenever no. I bring up any to any topics like that. Yeah. Did you see so, that South Park thing? That's you know, that's what I was just going to talk about. Logan made it on South Park, drink cred, drink prime, <laughs> insane. I texted him. I was like, yo, that's sick. I'm happy he posted it too, and he saw the comedy in it and, and appreciated it because South Park's been my favorite show. They're geniuses. Even though they're making fun of him, it's in like a it's like an honor way. To get, yeah, yeah, to get yeah. made fun of. Like and that. the storyline behind it, how they tied in. Oh, oh, West. Tana was on it. Was Tana on it? Yeah, she yeah. she was on the sidebar. No it said, way. It said yeah. like top subscribed or whatever, and it said Tana Monjo. <laughs> Actually, yeah. people were messaging me, but I was like, yeah. I didn't see that. Tana, and it said Len of the Plug. Yeah, it was, it was, it was when uh when uh Randy Randy was like trying to sign up. Yeah, and him doing the calls to customer service with his dick out. Randy so Marsh. Funny. Yeah, <laughs> Three yeah. R's. Incredible. I mean, it's like an honor just to be on that blasting pad to get made fun of by those guys. And also the story of it is who's influencing us. Like these algorithms play us videos and where are they coming from? And every time they're about to leak it out, like this person sent me, they get shot in the head. Like they cannot find out who's influencing us. That was actually my, the, my favorite part was the Jeff. auction. Just for, just, yeah, there it is right there. Tana Monjo. Oh no way! Yeah, damn! How crazy is that? Like full, full act. <laughs> like not even changing it. And just for and and for anybody who hasn't like watched the episode, the 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 plot line of the episode is basically in in South Park, Prime, which is called Cred on the show, gets mm -hmm. as big as Prime is in real life. Every kid is has it is drinking it in school, and there's this massive kind of you know like discussion or 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 deep dive into this product and like you said who's influencing your kids so it's both it's both logan cred and nof are kind of mm -hmm. discussed in the episode my favorite part was the auction where he's, oh, did you watch yeah, the, yeah, episode? Yeah, 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 the yeah. auction where they're like auction you off and you could as an influencer and you could get bought by certain organizations what companies launch, gonna pick my agenda was my favorite yeah 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 <laughs> They're so good. And the agenda that what Logan had to spread prime and he had no nothing, no affiliation. Well, with technically, it. no, he was at the end. He was spreading the mess. Well, I don't want to say it. If you haven't watched, it's on Paramount Plus. Yeah, uh, skip it's this a part very right here. This part this is for the next 10 seconds. Just cover your ears. Uh, but the the main person behind it spreading the 
agenda is the parents. Is, it's, it's well, every, is that kid, one kid's mom? That's who is Clyde. controlling the Clyde's, algorithm. Clyde's mom. Yeah, yeah. Clyde's mom's controlling the algorithm. She's the one that, and it, it is crazy. We could be manipulated by these algorithms. We are. We just talked about it. That's why none of us are, we're all fucked. That's what we're, we're talking about. You're gone. That's exactly what we're talking about. What you're yeah. 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 This is another weird segue, but I saw a video that had like 500K views. Remember Vitaly when he got uh, arrested and they had that live like uh, cop camera of yeah. him like on mushrooms tweaking out after he just beat up a, a woman jogger, jogger. Yeah. and it was like a crazy thing to see like that realness you know like this person's self-destructing bad there was another one of those where this woman was caught masturbating on a beach oh, oh, you know what I'm man. talking about of course I do so I, I see it and it's like a she's like a kind of attractive yeah. woman that's like she's the thumbnail got me. I clicked on it. I'm like, no way, Same. this is real. It, it well went very viral a couple of few yeah. weeks ago. So it took off. It's at nine million views now. Yeah, and she admits to it. Yep. The cops come up with no evidence, which was, was like, obviously her big mistake. <laughs> yeah. Can I bring a shot? Yeah. Can I ask what the problem is? All right. So someone called us. We got multiple calls about you. Yes. About something pertaining on the beach. Yes. Were you supposed to be? Were you doing something you weren't supposed to be doing? No, just say no. Just say no. I mean, I'm not sticking up. Whatever. Yeah, but, all right. But this video, she gets caught, she gets arrested, and she goes down. It's an embarrassing clip. It gets seen by 9 million people or something like that. A week ago, she blew her brains yeah, out. She yeah. killed herself. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah. And I saw this, and I was like, bro, this is torture for this woman. I yeah. get what she's doing out in public. I don't know exactly how it worked out. But some people aren't built for being on the internet. Like Tana could get canceled, be trending for making a, a fool of herself. And she's just the next day laughing it off. You know, some people can take this stuff, but you get regular people like this. Imagine all her friends, family. She don't get another, another shot at that. Another episode to be like, oh, I was just joking, you know. And and also like kind of overall morality discussion around should those type of things be leaked. You've you've caught this woman in the most embarrassing moment of her entire life, of her entire existence. You could see in her face that she doesn't even know how to process the fact that she's done this and that she's in this trouble. You've arrested her. You're you're already you've already given her the same plight that anyone else has been through in that yeah, scenario. She's getting, she's she's, getting the consequences. She, correct. The consequences of her actions are coming at her. And now you're going to go release that to, to ruin her life yeah. to go and to basically ruin her. Life. I, I personally believe that's way more punishment than the actual doing the jail time. Uh, if she goes away for six months, I take well, now that she's over. Dead. They, they decided that when they released that video, they decided that she deserved a death penalty. Who so I'm not saying, I'm not saying that they, that, so you know, who posted she, this? She this also that, happened, but. uh, 2021 from the date up here. But when did it get uploaded? Cause I just got, I got literally uploaded a, month ago. Ago. Yeah, a month ago. Yeah. And I got hit with this in my algorithm and I'm like, damn, that girl, that fucking girl is going to have a horrible life. And then it turns out like after, you know, shit just kept going and going and going. It's at 9 million views now, but whoever, I guess the blood's on their hands, whoever posted that video. Well, that's what I was saying. I mean, at the end of the day, like they, they wouldn't have known that she was going to do that. But, but also at the same time, it's like not knowing that, that what you're doing to someone is causing them, harm in life. I don't feel like it's a great excuse anymore. I think I, I really wish that in the years upcoming, people would start being a little bit more empathetic to, to, to people in general, whether or not they're going through shit, whether or not they claim to be a depressed or anxious or whatever person. It seems like we are so set into this way of just nastiness. It's in our face all day long. And I just wish people would be a little bit more mindful of what that does to a person's psyche. Every single interaction I have in my life, Every single one, I think to myself, what is what I'm about to say going to do to this person? Now, maybe I'm too far on the empathetic side. Maybe that's not good for me. Maybe, maybe that puts me in the too fucking, empathetic. in the backs. Yeah. It's not, I don't mean it like that. It's not supposed to be a no, fucking I know brag. You mean. I'm, I'm, I'm too humble. Like you, but, but we sh people should be a little bit more fucking, yeah, a, a I, little I bit more emotionally intelligent than, than what we're seeing online nowadays, which is just shitting on people 24 seven. Yeah. It's people, fucking stupid, people, people love that, uh, public humiliation. It's gotten more out of control than ever with the internet. But also what if that was somebody like a guy, like, like, uh, like Cody is just cranking it on the beach and there's families around and another and, massive discussion. You're right. Yeah. Cody's just and going to town and he lives in Miami like over there on the beach so I could see him out there just like jerking it yeah, yeah. like fucking whatever I want to go back fuck it you know honestly she told yeah. me not <laughs>
<laughs> well, this is better for the fans. <laughs> you know, if that video came out, also he probably wouldn't give a fuck because he would probably say no, when the cops came up, he'd probably fans. like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Actually, officer, I'm the one that put him the call. He went right down that way. He's around a bunch of kids. That's what Cody would have did because he's a career criminal, and he would have instantly made the cops. <laughs> That's think, what. You Thank you for helping us, sir. And he would have got a purple heart because of that. That's another thing that really sucks about that. You, your your point we should talk about too, and the difference between how sexes are treated, especially in a criminal nature. But like, that's the most fucked up thing about that video is like, she had she had the easiest escape of all time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, the only thing that could have got her pinned for that was exactly what she did. Anything else, she would have been fine. Yeah, you never ever admit ever admit anything to in all honesty you shouldn't even be talking to cops the yeah. cops want to ask you questions be like listen am i am i detained am i under arrest if or am i free to go they'll ask you a question well you know they just said cody you were you were whacking it down on the pier watching the new tiana trump video you know it's on it's actually on video the the cvs behind actually caught it on tape show me the video no not even am i under arrest am i being detained or am i free to go cody we're going to give you an opportunity right now to cooperate we want to help us, you we and we want to help, help you am i being detained am i under arrest or am i free to go it's it you just say that over and over again because trust me let me tell you something about fucking cops bro yeah if you're under arrest they arrest you. Yeah. They arrest you. They're not standing there asking you they fucking questions. You, they'll arrest they'll you. fucking turn your ass around. They'll put you in cuffs, stuff you in the car, bring you to the station, read you Miranda rights. Uh -huh. They're not just going to stand there and fucking and, and ask you for help solving their. Well, they are. And if you help them, unfortunately, they want a confession. That's what they can arrest you on. Correct. A confession. And correct. that's all they need is, is a confession from you. They need it from you. It can't be somebody else pointing them. It was them. I see. It, it's it. scary. It's scary to tell a cop that they don't have consent to search your car. It, that's scary. I've done it 50 times. And yeah. guess what got me out of trouble? A lot of the times. Oh, well, unfortunately, they didn't have consent. Fruit of the forbidden bush. Cases is thrown out. And I walk out of fucking the courtroom. My Miami arrest was illegal. They're what I'm saying. I said, no, you cannot come in. They busted in anyway. Do you have probable cause? I felt guilty. I felt like, oh, I'm fucked. I'm going to do a lot of time. But the lawyer and everybody in jail, fucking idiots in jail, they're all like, Yo, you're good. No, they don't have a warrant. You're good. They're going to let you out. And I was like, no fucking way. I was facing serious time. And because they fucked up, like, actually, there's ways around it. And that's what you come to this show for, guys. Yeah, you advice on how to get out of advice trouble. Advice on how to get out of trouble. If anything, that's what we can talk about. We're not the best wrestlers. We're not the best at, you know, you know, Jay Shetty's really good at mental health talk. You know, I you got Andrew it. Huberman. He's, he's really good at, <laughs> at best. talking about sleeping and breathing and stuff that has benefits for your health. We'll talk about how, we'll teach you guys how to get out of trouble, how yeah. to get yourself not arrested. Yeah. Crime cast. Crime cast. Yeah. There we go. That's what, I could say the same what you thing. come to us for. But that was like, that was like, I think I learned that in second grade. I, I had to have a few lessons because I thought I have charmed my way out of getting arrested before, but that's rare. That's very rare. Like one time Cody and I were looking to get a place together. We got this realtor that was a real scumbag. Like he was no, we looked up his Yelp after we gave him the deposit and we found out that he ripped off all these people. So we went down to his office and we were like, we want our money back. The guy was like, can't do that. I'm not giving you, I'm not giving you back your money. Cody smacked the shit out of him oh, and he called so, the cops on us and it, that now he's like trying to get us arrested when he robbed us and only got was a few smacks you know just like a few shots he that's got fair. It that seems yeah fair. you know he got us for a 3500 deposit on a house and now we have no house because we gave him the money and that was supposed to get us our place so yeah smack the shit out of him then he calls the cops on us and when i got in there it was literally literally the scene from good time where it's like miss you, you got to understand my brother's mentally handicapped like he he yeah. he did not know what he was getting himself into and he this guy really offended him and stole his money and told him he was going to be homeless so he didn't know how to react i apologize i will make sure he never goes down there again and never sees him again and they let us off it was insane i was speaking to the district attorney and i i got him out of it because i was like miss i apologize my brother's mentally handicapped better call and he is he is actually you know like he does have enough mental illnesses you that know you can get you know how we talk about our come up and like you had done this and you great at content and you networked with this person or or me I networked with this person I worked very hard this and that. There's this thing about addicts, especially those from the tri-state. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's a word called finesse. Yeah, 
It's one of the most important things you can have. It's and by the way, like I said, the tri-state kind of hands it to you. Yeah, you kind of get you you grow up a, a shyster a yeah. little bit. Yeah. You just do. You grow up a little. You grow up a little bit of a finesse. Now that doesn't mean that there's anything, always anything illegal going on. Yeah, it doesn't mean anybody's breaking the rules. But are the rules being bent sometimes? Are they doing acrobatics? Kyle, remember when Cody was doing some of his finessing work and you were like yo can you teach me how to do that oh yeah and he got so the, mad the walls are closing in so. bro <laughs> he said the walls are closing in he was like no nah, i can't teach you this shit you, you don't want to be like me i'm doing this because the walls are closing in <laughs> i'm doing this because i have to do it but it's you not don't even, have to but, but it, it don't great. matter anyways what the circumstances <laughs> it can't be it can't be taught that shit bro, can't Cody's be taught. so funny like jeff wants to buy a camera the other day and I'm on FaceTime. Uh, I'm giving them like my account number so that they can get like a discount. And he's, you know, he's just like, yo, can we get a discount on this? We're going to go to Best Buy. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's Sammy's no, legit. camera. His friends no, are legit. selling me the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Closed mouths don't get fed. Cody has no shame. He will always ask anybody. No, it's like sometimes you never know if somebody's that open with stuff asking you these things. You feel like they might be an undercover cop. But because Cody, you just look in his eyes and like, this guy's not a cop. You know? <laughs> he's he's like the next level like there's like finesse and then he there's like finesse then there's like shyster then there's like allegedly, scam, allegedly, then there's like allegedly. scammer yeah like i can't i don't know where he falls exactly like we finesse no, he's not scamming people shyster would you say shyster i'd say he's just a finesse he's a master finesse he's got he uh, he's got so many weird like things figured out and travel hacks travel hacks he's got travel travel agent business travel more for less he's like he's the like, guy that knows the guy yeah, and he knows every guy, and you know I'm I'm happy that we see the thing is none of these none of these motherfuckers have this shit. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That's the thing. Like I watch I, this is what I was talking about before. It's like it's like the no, the number of fucking frauds in our space is insane, bro. Like yo, there's so many people out there right now who are claiming to be like the the king of of women or the king of money or the king of networking or the king of health or the king of this motherfuckers are all frauds. The fraud rate in the space right now is crazy. And I promise you, bro, take a swath of the audience take a bunch of other people from the industry put us all in the same room and see what happens mm -hmm. it's 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 only because people are able to to speak on these platforms unchecked but never get into a real life scenario all that fucking facade topples yeah. i see these motherfuckers out that's i see what, that's them what. out bro they none of them are real none of them are real this is shit steven was talking about before he stormed out they're not real fucking people <laughs> you see us you see us in real life we're in the exact scenarios we fucking talk about in the exact scenarios, we handle ourselves exactly the same fucking way that we do in real life uh -huh. or we do on the show. People meet us. They say, yo, you are exactly the same person that I've watched 10,000 hours of. Yeah. I see all these dudes. I see all these dudes that are on the podcast talking this crazy shit. We see them in person. They don't say shit. No, nope. they don't say nothing. They don't say a single fucking word. Nothing. They don't act. They don't got no girls with them. They don't got no. They're not coming on the fucking jet that they claim they're coming on. Mm -hmm. It's all a fucking fraud, bro. It's a fraud. The thing is, at this point, I don't even try to correct it. What am I going to do? Be on Twitter fucking no, tweeting you try, about you, it? You need to stop trying. You, sometimes, yeah, but... I'll, sometimes I'll respond to a specific <laughs> thing. All right. Should we get to the sports? Sorry, segment? I'm just getting fired up. Uh, mm -hmm. I just sent, sent there the link. Okay. We're going to, we'll cut to that. You, you want to give Mike his gift? Um, yeah. Since it's Christmas and stuff, I'm not going to be seeing you. I got you a present. This is the most thoughtful gift that I could get for you. I know you have tons of money and you have everything that you could ever ask for. So I thought I'd just get you a silly t-shirt, you know? There you go. Take a look at it. There you go. Since all the episodes we've done. Gaslighting world champion. That's right. Assholes live forever. You know how I said we're... Wait, is this from Kirill? Yeah. You know how I said that... Uh, Did you buy you're this? You're not great at anything. You didn't you know? buy this. You, got, you found this. It, I think <laughs> Oscar works with him. He, he gave it to me to give to you, but, but still, it's a thought that counts and... You have gaslit a lot of people. And I, you know, we were just talking about how we're not the best at anything. You are the best gaslighter in the game. You can make people believe any bullshit that you're selling. It's fucking incredible. I, I'm grateful to have you as a friend. You could talk you're, people you're, out of beefs. You're so good at being a scumbag finesse. No, thank you. That I'm grateful to have you as a friend. Thank you. It's what I get out of that is like, let's, bro, like, let's be honest. You're, you're hurt, bro. What do you mean? You're hurt. About what? Just like everything, bro. It's fine. It's completely fine. 
What are you saying? Sorry, I was trying to gaslight, gaslight me right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what about Steven? I don't even know. I Actually, yeah, it. I am a little hurt by his, by his little fucking Damn, mushy bro. brain. You know, the only two things you've ever bought me in life were two t shirts. Oh, yeah. The that's Mac right. Miller t shirt. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I, um, no, no, that's okay. It's I don't, okay. I don't it's think not, I have it wasn't cash that type of gift, you know? You don't, don't give to you don't give to receive. No, nope. I just wanted you to have that. All right, let's just cut to a sports segment. We we've been trying new segments, and uh, a lot of them been a little rough lately. All right, here we go. Welcome to the sports segment. <laughs> Live from the Grove. Wow, look who Thank it you is. So much we got Mike. Uh, we got Mike great. here. Ba- great. Okay. Well, sorry. Were you giving us a sports I'm report? To talk to a male audience. Why is that? Hello. Do you, don't you go live on Kidding. OF? That's a male audience. I'm, just afraid, I'm actually just afraid to speak on anything that isn't my own podcast anymore. Who gives but a hi, fuck, guys. Tana? A black hole sun, a fucking solar flare is about to take solar everybody flare out. Solar flare is about to take us out anyway. Hey, do you remember last time we were at the Grove together and we were walking around holding hands and security kicked us out and it was Christmas. I think it was Christmas time maybe two years ago. That's crazy. That, that was back when Hollywood Fix was still alive. Is he dead? No, I got hit with the Holly Fi- Hollywood Fix the other day. They got me and Cody out on the street, evil Santa. But look, we Did called you. Did call you- him? Uh, no, I didn't call him. <laughs> like he's Kevin Wong. You could call the Hollywood Fix. I did that a lot back in the day, unfortunately. I want to <laughs> say thank you to the both of you for being such amazing friends to me this week. And... I'm sure you just slandered me for 30 minutes before. No, this. no, no, it didn't no, even no, come no. up. No, we, we didn't even talk about it. We had a big uh, fight in the studio. Steven walked. We threatened me through the mic. Fucking a whole bunch of shit happened. Um, do, you wanna yeah. go, do you want to go? Do you want to? Do you want to continue on saying the thank yous and, and maybe speak specifically about what we did and, and what it meant to you and how it helped you? <laughs> yeah, elaborate. You both, you both were really, really great friends off camera. No night shift. No Jeff vlog. No Jeff FM. You called me. You talked me off a ledge. You know, and I really appreciate that. And and we were right, right? Can you just say that? Like, um, I, like I was I was overreacting. I'm dumb, and you were you guys were right. I, you know, certain things certain things warrant certain reactions, and I don't think I, you know, felt that heat in a long time, and maybe a feeling of failure and making mistakes and doing something poorly, and the whole world kind of commenting on it, and. But you guys reminded me the advice that I'd probably give the both of you, which is to flip it and keep it pushing and continue on for my audience. That's right. You didn't fail. You did not fail. You Um, went out there. You were yourself. We weren't informed. We did the best we could under the circumstances. Yeah, you know, we could have done some things differently and it wasn't our show, but, you know, we didn't know what we were walking into. And I'm so grateful to Ethan for the opportunity and to get to do things. It was supposed to be alongside the both of you and then Mike bailed last minute when in reality I should have bailed last minute. Um, Cause that, that heat would have been way less bad than the heat for actually showing up. That's what I get for showing up, honestly. I, I miss bailing. Tim. Well, I just, well, I didn't realize the, what was happening. I was, I thought we were giving away an award. It was going to be two minutes of total air time. And then I, I saw afterwards that you guys were on the set for what? Three, four hours. Yeah. I had a blast though. I loved all. No, you were crushed. Every you had a whole of, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I got hate. I got, hate, I got, I got, I, well, I got hate too, Tana. I got, I, I saw some backlash about me too. Probably for sitting next to me. No, it was mostly Probably about me for not sitting next to me, but I appreciate you for sticking by me. No, it was mostly about me not, not having socks on in the Ferragamos, but people don't understand that's, you're how, not you wear, that's how you wear self you're not supposed Ferragamos. To wear Ferragamos. You're so, also, you're from, also a no show sock girly you love your no-shows yeah especially when i got on some ferragamo so i don't care about your comments from you fucking normies that don't know shit about ferragamos <laughs> what size but what size do you wear 11 12 depends i got an brand. extra sick pair of ferragamo loafers that i never use uh, sorry i have a gift for you that i want to give you this christmas season really yeah that i nice. just bought brand new well look tana everything's back to normal i love you both so very much you are two of the best friends i could ever ask for in this industry and i'm grateful to ethan for the opportunity i fucked it up I, Ethan, look, really Ethan has no complaints about you. You kept that show entertaining, whether it wasn't planned for or not. Like when things go too smooth, it gets a little boring. And, and you know, they did a great job prepping that show, building it all out. They put in a ton of time. It's at the Dolby Theater where they do the Oscars. You made it fun. When I was up there with you, I was like, damn, Tan is killing it so much. I was jealous. And then when I went out after and I saw Twitter and, and the backlash, I was like, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yep, honestly. The entire time for the first half on stage, Jeff was like, you're killing it. You're killing it. You're killing it. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to keep going. Maybe I was part, I was probably part of the problem. I instigated all damn. Yo, Tana, can I ask you a question? 
Yeah. Uh, this is a world exclusive, by the way. Do you have the siren? The brum, 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 brum. Um, we're thinking about we're th- asking for the siren is crazy. I know. We're thinking about doing a uh, impulsive H three episode. You're, so you're asking me for creative direction? No, I'm office, just asking like, you what you. I'm just asking you what you think about that. I think that whatever you feel like is fitting for the show and the brand is exactly what you should do. And I would, I would tune in. I watch every episode of Impulse. Oh, okay. She probably has a publicist with her. Yeah, I was going to say you have a PR. PR Yeah. Yeah. No more award shows for me unless it's (laughs) Jeff FM or canceled. (laughs) See, don't give, don't say that. Don't (laughs) give up. We're going to do live shows next year. We're just getting started. No. no. I said no more award shows <laughs> unless it's a Jeff FM impulsive or canceled award show. No, we're going back to the steamies next you year, know? whether the audience likes it or not. We're going up there. We're doing it again. And I'm doing H3 Bachelor, too, where they I find me love. Stopped, I should have stopped after the streamies. Like, roll that clip. The streamies taught me enough to not have to, like... <laughs> no, you should have stopped after that fire not. joke you started with. You were like, I'm going to kill myself on stage in front of all of you. That's how you started the show? <laughs> I now, don't know if that's exactly what I said. It sounds like me. Yeah, you were like, well, I'm getting canceled tonight. And they were like, yeah. And you're like, I'm going to kill myself in front of all of you tonight. <laughs> I think, and I was like, damn, she's I killing I said it. That I, was gonna, I think I said I was going to... Uh, sewer slide as I walked off the stage because wow. yeah oh but, real real quick before you hang up there's something nice that I want to show you uh Oscar can you pull up reddit can you pull up reddit right now I don't look at reddit well this is something you're going to want to hear it's something nice on reddit about us you know there's there's usually so much positivity on there about us so I wanted Yay. to just read one to you look at this Mike can you read this it's about Matt Reif and how we were, you know, how he made a domestic violence joke and he got canceled. You know what I'm talking about? How we discussed it last week and we made those jokes about the Hawaiian guy beating the shit out of you on the on the news segment. Remember? The Hawaiian guy. Insane. Yes. Pilot, yeah. Wait, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose service if I walk in here and I have to. So don't walk in. You're on a, a massive show. I'm right not. Now. I was speaking to the people I'm with. Read this out loud, Mike, because you're a good reader. I don't know if I thought to... F- Wait, who wrote it? Financial Jeff's Kangaroo? Take on Matt can I Wright. just Can I just say it in their voice? Financial Kangaroo. Really so is that... A, you think that's a guy? I'll go quick, sorry. I don't know if I thought too far into this, but I thought the segment when they talked about don't Matt... Don't mock it. It's nice. Just do a normal voice. But I thought the segment when they talked about Matt Reif, that leading into the FaceTime call and the overall talk about domestic abuse in Hawaii was actually extremely interesting to examine. <laughs> Jeff and Tana agreed that Matt Reif joke wasn't funny, but there are comedians who do put out similar dark humor. They are comedians, real ones, Tana. You hear that? They just do it more tasteful, which is true. But the talk about Hawaii in the FaceTime call was exactly that. They took dark humor and made yeah. it actually funny. They took what Matt tried to do and did it right. They knew exactly what they were doing and what point they were proving. I really don't think Jeff and his team get the credit they deserve for thinking of these bits, but that was cr- Clever. That, that was clever. That amazing, was clever. Yeah. That's an amazing sentiment. And you see I that? appreciate whoever wrote that and all of the love. But it gets scary when you place your value in kind things on Reddit because the next day your value could be placed in horrible things about you. So be careful. Well, what did you take away from that? Um, that that's a really amazing comment. And I appreciate the love so much. And, you know, you have the best viewers. Domestic and- violence could be funny if you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm walking a fine line right now, just in general. Like, I'm just, you know. Don't let that get to you. Double down. Power walking through Walking a fine line, aging like a fine wine. All right. And that's I it for that. the show today. We love you. Thank you for calling in, Tana. It was the last no, what episode the fuck? of the year. No, and- no, let her go, and then we'll end it properly. What the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a three-way FaceTime and- ending. I love you both so much it hurts. I love the Jeff FM audience so much it hurts. I learned that from you, Mike, saying that, but I really do. Um, well, and yeah, no more award shows for T, but lots of live shows for us three. We'll see you fucking soon, okay? Goodbye. Please hang up the fucking phone. I'll Please, see- I can't take this shit anymore, dude. God, oh, fuck. How long are we going to fucking drag this fucking call out for? You? That was a title. All right, you know? this just in. Stabbing, oh, talking to Tana stabbing about with pocket recaps, knife after so. collision. What? 0.5 miles away, stabbing with pocket knife after collision. <laughs> and he, was it a Hawaiian? I don't no. know. No, 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 it was on the boulevard. Or is there any chance it was Steven? He... Steven went out and stabbed someone <laughs> after a traffic collision? Damn. Oh, you didn't tell me that was the, the whole, because I didn't give you anything else meaningful. 
Because mm-hmm. usually, why didn't you have anything aimed ab- about George or anything for this one? George has been quiet after since the tape. He's stuff. Gonna, he'll post again soon, and it's going to be a good episode, I'm sure. What's he going to come out with again? I don't know. Uh, Putin. Listen, that would be <laughs> sick. Try. That would be sick. Listen, Logan Paul is satanic. <laughs> It's the end of the year. It is. And I, I, I really haven't <laughs> taken much time to reflect on what this year means, but I do know what I want for 2024. And it's it's just less noise, more real substance, less bullshit. And that's it for the year. We love you guys. Thank you for supporting Jeff FM. Hair oil, all the products, the bundle out on Amazon now. Thank you so much for supporting and loving the products. Put them in your hair. Leave a rate it, leave a review. <laughs> Love you guys. See you next year. <laughs>